hello guys uh, in this video we will learn aim constraint before going into that uh, it is very important for us to know uh, the vectors that is uh, the objects x y z axis so every object will have a x y z axis for that you could generally enable the move tool and then when you rotate this object and then if you could see uh, the x y and z axis are facing in a specific direction and here and uh, most of the times y will be facing towards the head of that object let's say if uh, this is the top side and that's the head and that's the legs of the character so if i rotate it then that is the head and uh, that is the legs of the character so uh, in a sphere it is not possible for us to see the um, vectors which is x y z axis i have modeled uh, this x y z axis directly with polygons and then i've just colored them so that you can understand that the red color is x green is y and blue is z and um, there are two objects so this object is basically called as object which i'm going to keep it aside and here these two are the objects to which i'm going to apply aim constraint where the ball is going to be the parent object and this arrow is going to be the child object so when i move the parent the um, arrow should face the uh, parent i mean the object should face the parent let's say if uh, i just hide them for a time being and i'm going to create a cylinder and uh, let me scale it so that you can understand so modify freeze transformation so when i select these two objects and then apply aim constraint okay so i'm going to reset everything and then just apply it when i move it you should able to see the object is rotating so i'll undo and then go to the aim constraint and then i'm going to say aim vector is going to be the y axis and up vector is going to be the x axis and when i apply it now when i move the ball and then you should able to see um, the ball is facing sorry the barrel is facing towards the ball so the ball is going to be the parent object which means when i'm moving the ball the barrel is you know facing to the ball all the time so this is the, its placement is affecting the orientation of the barrel so this is going to be the parent object and this is going to be the child object in general terms so when we move it what is getting affected is the object's rotation channel and i was telling you that um, the object's y axis is facing the ball all the times so for us it is very important to know the vectors of that object so i'm going to delete this uh, um, barrel just uh, reset it and bring this uh, objects and try to understand uh, what is this uh, vectors is all about now when i go to the aim vector um, we have a maintain offset offset which we have already seen in our other constraint videos mainly you could check my point constraint video um which i'll be sharing in the description so the point in that i've explained the maintain offset and offset things so what i'm really talking about here is the aim vector and the up vector so what is that actually is so let me reset it and then you should able to see aim vector is x and up vector is y okay so we have there are uh, the other options here which uh, will actually make sense for up vector as we go forward to understand it so i'll just reset do nothing select the ball which is going to be the parent object and select the arrow which is going to be the child object and then apply aim constraint now you should be able to see there is a flip of this object actually it was facing x was facing this side y was facing up z is facing towards the ball but when i applied it it twisted 
now why did I, that twisted i told in the constraint that aim vector is x now what is happening is the x the red color arrow is seeing the ball now what is seeing up the green why is that again in aim constraint i said up vector should be y axis so when i select this and move i should able to see all the times the red arrow is facing the ball okay now when i just uh, uh, if you could see the y is facing up when i flip over this okay it should continue that but when it is crossing the grid it flips and then again it it is trying to stay up only uh, that's basically happening because i told that the up vector is y so the y axis is always facing up so when i generally move it technically the when arrow goes down it, it it's not up anymore so to justify that it's immediately flipping it and then it is becoming up axis okay so you may not understand it in normal objects but this twist can be a big problem uh sometimes because you see the z arrow which is in the front uh which is in the back came to the front immediately after i flipped over anyhow i mean that third axis is very important because it is going to twist your object completely so let me reset this and then open outliner and delete the constraint let's understand certain things here so put this default then bring up this options and then starting from the scene up okay so i'm putting the scene up option now what is scene up if you go to uh, any software uh, 3ds max maya or blender or anywhere uh, you have the axis uh, axis is different now maya i really uh, like y up thing because we when we stand our width is x height is y and depth is z and it it perfectly matches here in maya now technically in maya the axis which is going to see up is y axis in some softwares it is z so you can check with uh, the preferences here let me just quickly uh, here in the settings up axis is y axis you should able to see that in some cases it is z so i am going to choose the y okay now when i said scene up is going to be your up vector so when you said up vector is y that means the arrows y should see up but what is up actually what up is this side which side the y axis side how did i know i went here and then i say the scene up is y axis so up this is up axis so when i say scene up and to that upside the vector y should face then when i apply it and then move it the y is always seeing up because i told it should face up up axis okay so let me delete that and then try the next one which is going to be the object up now when i bring this object up there's a column here which is uh, asking a connection or an object so i've created a object here again it has got y z x axis same thing and i've named it as object so i'm going to type here the object name which is object again okay it too many objects if it is confusing let's call it as dummy and put here dummy okay so this object is called dummy and i'm entering that here in the dummy now world up object is going to be the dummy and then i'm going to add it so when i move it okay there's a arrow but if you could see when i move this object okay y axis is facing towards the dummy so if i move it up 
it faces up when i move it down it moves down when i move it side it it watches the side okay so it's like two objects controlling this object orientation so this object wherever it is there to that side your x axis will face and wherever this object is there that side y axis is there but uh, technically uh, arrow, this is not non deforming object so it is roughly facing where this object is so i can generally rotate it and then i could twist it if the orientation is not con in control uh, as i told in normal vector it is suddenly twisting up and to uh, avoid that you can generally use this method okay let me uh, delete that and then go to the constraint and this time i'm going to choose object rotation up and it is again uh, asking okay uh, the dummy object is there and uh, to the dummy object which axis is the going to be the up axis let's say if i have put the y here okay let's put it y not to complicate it and then apply it now when i'm going to move it okay i'm going to move it like that the y is going to face that way only now when i move this object there is no effect you know why when i rotate this object this is going to control it so you should see wherever this y axis is there the object's up is going to face that side okay now if i go to the constraint okay and then if i say this one to x okay so to red color arrow okay which side is it facing up vector the green color is going to face that side so there should be no confusion but you should not lock it by itself that's something really important because sometimes you say aim is a going to face x up is going to face x then you are doing a confusion thing so the ball is controlling the aim and the twist of the object is controlled by this object so that's really nice about this okay so i'll just open up the aim constraint and then you have a vector so vector is nothing but your viewports x y z axis so when i say um y axis is going to be the vector to which my objects up is going to face so object up i said now every time i am putting y you might get confused i'll put a z here okay so the z axis is going to see up okay z axis is going to see up now let's say if i want to select z axis is going to see down now this is going to see the down always z axis is what the blue color arrow so we have a aim vector which is going to help us in making the objects face each other Uh, most of the times we use this for the eye that's a very classic example i would uh, just uh, quickly create a sphere rotate it and i'm going to add a blend shader and then in the color i'm going to put a ramp press 6 on the keyboard Uh, so i just gave the color uh, for you to understand so i'm, I'm just uh, i can take any transform node so i'm going to create a locator so the locator is going to be the parent object and the ball okay uh, it is always important to keep your uh, object mode so that you could able to see the arrows correctly so 
if I select these two objects and then apply aim constraint with the default setting so aim vector is x so you should able to see the side of the ball is going to face the eye uh, locator uh, not correct so what I need to do is I need to put the z axis as the aim vector and y axis as the up vector so you should able to see the uh, eyeball is facing the locator when I move it it is going to see the locator only so it's it's very important uh, to understand the vectors